So here we go We're on our way to the Babelish shoot with Shaughnessy and Kyle. Hi guys! Cute sweatshirt. So I think the thing that's really special about you guys is that you're married. So husband and wife duo that you do business and life together. And two, especially what you guys are doing right now with like cancer survivors, breast cancer survivors and how special it is that you're making them feel like themselves again. What I really want to talk about here is just why you started doing that within your studio space a little bit of like how you guys got into what you're doing maybe how you met and just about what it's like to like work together and be like babe sporting babes for each other um in business and life i'm shaughnessy <laughs> this is my husband kyle um, we own studio sashiko in langley bc um, it's a cosmetic tattoo studio we also offer tattoo tattooing as well um, but our main focus is really realistic results for mostly people who have lost features so we call it restorative tattooing restoring features that they have lost during trauma or cancer or hair loss any kind of things like that for me i just basically help run the day-to-day -day on making the, the business run smoothly so doing the business side of things because she's so busy with tattooing and um, with whether it's microblading, areola restorative tattooing, I have to do all the paperwork. And all that, <laughs> all all the fun, fun stuff. stuff. <laughs> you know, someone has to do it, so it's a, that's what I do. So, why don't you talk a little bit about how you got into tattooing and maybe how you met? I guess originally, uh, she has a friend uh, that we mutually know. I found her on Facebook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I commented on a photo just saying, like, Who's your friend? <laughs> the best part is that I already knew who he was because we both worked in tattoo industry, different tattoo studios in Vancouver. I always knew of him as this hot piercer guy at the other tattoo shop, um, but he didn't know who I was until that Facebook moment. Um, so yeah, it's kind of through mutual friends, but through that industry, we ended up deciding like this was something we wanted to pursue together. Um, both working in like really intense tattoo studios in Vancouver, like we mentioned earlier, there's a lot of like skulls and like the typical tattoo vibe that you get when you go to a shop. Um, so we wanted something a little more relaxing. But basically how I started getting into tattooing was I was managing a studio. We would get women coming into the studio all the time asking like, do you do eyebrow tattooing or permanent makeup? And I always had to send them away. And I was getting to the point where I couldn't find anyone in Vancouver who were offering these services to send them to. So I decided to try and do it. So I trained, luckily I was working in a studio. I was able to take clients right away. And with the power of Instagram, it just snowballed and blew up immediately to the point where we felt the need to open our own studio. Yeah, it's kind of still growing, which is great. As somebody who I have had your services and had my eyebrows done, and for me, I've been growing my eyebrows for like five years and haven't been able to do anything. So just on a like, side note, it's the first time I felt like myself with my like real <gasps> eyebrows when I walked out of here. So it's, it, yeah, I was like, oh, this is what my eyebrows used to look like before I waxed them off for like 15 years. <laughs> so you guys carry brunette the label? Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Uh, which I really, I really appreciate. <laughs> what made you want to bring the brand into the studio? I think seeing after all of our clients wearing it all the time, basically like all our, our artists are wearing it constantly. Our clients coming in wearing it. We obviously felt the need like it fit with our clientele. Yeah. It just made sense. Oh, um, thank you. Also, with the eyebrows, I think it's a funny little concept that we tattoo eyebrows that are either blonde or brunette. Yeah. Well, we have jet black now. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Redhead. <laughs> so you're wearing a shirt that is the definition of a babe. That's something for us that we're really trying to evolve. Do you connect to that definition of a babe? Do you like I it? I definitely think so. I yeah. Think for me, I don't want to my own horn but I feel like I'm a very nice person and I try to uplift people around me constantly like all the girls here I'm always saying like positive things and I want to make everyone like the goal that you we have here is to create I don't know a really positive atmosphere and then obviously change people's lives and do things for the better not just for a paycheck essentially so I think I fit that description you absolutely <laughs> so babe sporting babes mm -hmm. What does it mean to you guys together, both personally and professionally? I think we've always been very supportive of each other. Like we've actually had multiple businesses together in the past and people always ask us like, how do you live together? How do you work together? How do you make that work? And we just have such separate roles. Yeah. And we, I know that like his role is obviously <laughs> a lot more intense and numbers and things that I don't really care to deal with. So I support him in the fact that like he can deal with that and I know he's gonna do a good job and he does the same for me. The creative stuff he kind of leaves to me. I feel like anytime we have an idea, we're both so supportive of each other and 
we'll make it happen. Yeah, I think it just like it's just like a relationship, right? Where like basically, you know, in our personal lives, we have you know we're together for a reason. We support yeah. each other, right? We see things the same way, and same through business. Um, it does translate really well. One of the things that you have started in the, is in the last year, a year and a half. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. You are doing mastectomy tattooing. Yeah. Uh, is that? Am I saying it correctly? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to share a little bit why and what it means to you and some amazing stories and maybe some issues you're having with promoting it? Oh, yeah. Technically, it's mostly women who've had mastectomies. Um, it's areola restorative tattooing, so basically tattooing a really realistic looking nipple and areola on the area that has been removed. I got into it because I have an aunt who had a mastectomy. Um, she's had multiple surgeries and issues. She had nipple reconstructed, so they created like a three-dimensional bump. Yeah. Um, it didn't heal properly. Things everything kind of went wrong and then eventually she got them tattooed and that same thing she wasn't happy with them they kind of faded to a weird tone so she was the one who's just constantly been pushing me like this is something you should offer this is something you should do I think you'd be really great at it um, I come from an art background so I went to Makar University and drew a lot of portraits and a lot of realism I'm very detailed I think overly detailed sometimes yeah so I found like I knew that that was something I could do as well and Luckily it was, so. Because yeah. <laughs> oftentimes they're getting this service done in the surgeon's office, whether it's just by kind of a random technician who doesn't know much about tattooing scar tissue or tattooing at all, um, or they're going to a tattoo studio and it's like maybe a, a big bearded man who's doing it, which yeah. probably they don't feel super comfortable with. So I think that gentle touch and like my soft voice might yeah. help. Yeah, well, and just who you are and probably coming into this space is already gonna be such like a light, feel when you yeah. walk through the door it's such good energy in here a lot of the time when you post these photos of before and after on Instagram they get removed yeah so for a long time I just thought people were reporting it which it still might be the case I think it's gotten to the point where Instagram has grown so much that they have all these people working for them they've got bots probably scanning photos constantly and if it looks like something that could be portrayed as nudity or something sexual it'll either auto automatically get removed or somebody will think that it's inappropriate and they'll mm -hmm. remove it. The thing is though that the Instagram guidelines states that mastectomy scarring and breastfeeding photos and things like that are allowed, which I would say mine falls into that yeah. category. <laughs> um, especially considering it's like a tattoo on a flattened piece of skin. It's not a real nipple at all. So maybe I'm just fooling them with the, the detail <laughs> in there, but it's fresh. I mean, they are really, really amazing tattoos. <laughs> so you. you might be feeling that. Yeah, yeah it is, it's unfortunate because I want to show people what's offered and what's available out there because so many of my clients come in, they're like, I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't exactly. know this was one of my options. So that's my biggest reason why I want to post it. I don't, I don't care how many likes they get. It's well, great, obviously, yeah. but yeah, I think it's just spreading the word that way. Well, thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Now we're gonna go get my eyebrows done. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of rapid fire. Last concert you went to? I think it was not really a concert, but we went to see Michelle Obama at Rogers oh. Arena. One thing you couldn't live without in your purse. Oh, my camera's always in there. Uh, cactus plant flea market. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. She's a stylist for Pharrell. Very underground brand that I love. Fair place to visit. Probably California. Yeah. We go there a lot. Because you got married there. Yeah. You had one superpower together <laughs> that oh. you did together. What would it be? Or just like super fast speed to do things more. Yeah, because we're always got like so many things on the go. So if we could be super fast about everything and <laughs> finish everything, <laughs> Take that'd be great. Off. Like to just Okay, let's do this. I want them fluffier, fuller, not dark, but obviously not light. Yeah, exactly. But this was softer, basically, right? Yeah. Yeah. What does babe supporting babes mean to you? Collaborating with like minded creatives and pushing each other to be better. Who's a babe that you look up to? There's a lot. Ellen. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome.